Hey, what's going on, guys? Bev here. Okay. Boom. Clone with a custom shirt here in the style library. It is Clone Tools compatible, so you can share it, and it'll just work with Clone Tools. It takes about one minute to make. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. It is so fast. Okay. Here is the link. It's going to be in the creator's website. Maybe it's going to be in the description of this video. Download these files and you're good to go. Everything is set up for you. You don't really even need technical skill. Okay, so if you go into where you saved this file, we're going to extract it. Okay, and you're going to have shirt creator file. Open this up. Open this up. Now you're going to see custom shirt creator and an example folder. The example folder contains the zip that I used to load my shirt on my clone. You don't actually need this. It's just an example for you to see a working trait. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to back it out. Open up custom shirt creator. You have two folders in here, female and male, and one empty zip. What you're going to do with this empty zip is you're just going to rename the part that says to rename it. So I'm going to just rename this to, I'm going to call this clone X at NYC because that's the image I'm going to use for this example. And now this is renamed. You want to go into each female and male folder and rename the word custom to what we just did. So clone X and Y C. And I'm also just going to copy this so I don't have to type it in again. Now this one is renamed. Back it up. Go to male. And also rename this one. You don't have to rename it. However, if everyone keeps the same name, you're going to start running into errors loading other people's custom shirts because we're all using the same name, right? So you want to give it a custom name so you make sure it works, okay? So now that both Blender files are renamed and your zip folder is renamed, we're going to open up each Blender file and make your custom shirt, which takes, I don't know, like 30 seconds. Here you go. This Blender file is set up for this custom shirt to work automatically and almost instantly. This is the front of your shirt. This is the back of your shirt. This is where you load the image. This is just uh, the, all the files in the scene. And here's the basic instruction. All you really have to do is hit open. Go to where you have your picture saved. Any picture will work. Just load a picture. It automatically maps to the front and the back of the shirt. You're going to see the image over here on those images. If you load 10 pictures because you can't decide what picture to load, you need to delete every picture that is not being used. You only want to keep the picture that is being used, okay? This will keep the file size down. Delete every picture that's not being used because you were indecisive. Anyway, once it's loaded and you have the picture that you want, hit file. Make sure under external data, this is checked and save it. Close it. Back out. Go back into the mail because we just did the female one. And we do the same thing for the mail folder. Okay. So in the mail one, hit open. I'm going to load the picture up. Only one image. That's good. File external data. Checked. That's good. Hit save. Close this. You're done. It's that quick. All right. So now you want to take this female and male folder, highlight them both, and drop them into this zip. All right. This zip will now have these two folders inside. You can double check. If I double click on it, you can see it says female and male. That's perfect. That's what we want. This is a clone trait now. So now if I go to uh, this other folder here called Beb with my clone in it, if I just drop this inside of here with the rest of my clone traits and I go back into Blender and I go File, New General, I'm going to Don't Say. And I load up my clone. You should see the shirt we just made pop up onto my clock. And there it is. If I go into style, I scroll down and I go to this jacket, clone jacket's in the way, I'll remove the jacket. There's the shirt. We just made this shirt right now during this video. And it is now a working clone trait that you can send to your friends and automatically create these style of easy custom clone shirts for your blend, your community, whatever you're trying to do. Here's a super quick method of making it and sharing it. And it works with clone tools. All right. Have fun.